I grew up in a city southeast of Los Angeles in a very predominantly Latino neighborhood. And uh, it was really interesting because uh, everybody there, the whole universe is that, that neighborhood. And I remember specifically the watermelon family. Every Saturday, these people were, and I love them to death, I love them to death, but they were all fat from the, from the dad to the, to the smallest one. And they literally had a truck with watermelons. So every, every Saturday, I remember going out there and my father would always buy us the biggest watermelon we could find. And, uh, and that was one of the most pleasurable moments for me because as a kid, I was very obese. You know, I really, I mean, I, I tell you, man, flan, arroz con leche, oh my God, I love that stuff. I love that stuff. And, um, and pretty much I wasn't athletic, so, uh, so my, my passion was eating. And, and the way I discovered the martial arts was, was twofold. Two things happened in my life that were very, very critical. <laughs> Excuse me. It was, it was kind of an epiphany because I actually got jumped, you know, by, uh, by rivals that came down to our neighborhood. And, and one night I was going to the liquor store and they pulled up in a car. Before I knew it, a bottle was burst over my head. You know, five guys just kicking me. The only thing I remember was, was, was kicking one away and running and running, 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 that's all I remember. And then when I got home, I noticed, I think it's this side, I noticed that I had a big gash. All I saw was white. Blood all over, I had a white shirt on, so um, it was very, very a traumatic experience. But at the same time, I discovered my first Bruce Lee movie, just prior to this beating. And, um, and the way that Bruce Lee movie came about was, we, we uh, had a restaurant, Growing up, my father owned a restaurant and we used to wash dishes, you know, clean up. You know, from the morning before I went to school, I had to go, you know, warm up the food, make sure all the dishes were washed. After school, didn't have time for homework because so I had to go to the restaurant, wash dishes and help, you know, with the cooking. Not a little bit, I'm cooking more to wash the dishes. And um, my father wanted to reward us, so he says, you know what, there's this, this, this movie out there, it's called Chinese Connection. Because I started to get into these kung fu movies at the time. And we, we rushed that night, really, you know, washed everything fast, mopped, cleaned, swept, everything. We rushed to the theater, and, it, you know, they had shown previews, but it was probably like two minutes away from starting. And the person behind the counter said, it's too late, you can't come in. So my father was asking him, he says, hey, you know, we worked really hard, we'll pay you whatever. My sons, I really want to take my sons to go see this movie. And, um, and so what happened is, is the guy said, well, you know what, I'll, t I'll tell you what. I'll let you guys in, but I'm going to charge you double. So again, it's a lot of money. So literally, there was, there was three of us. It was my friend, myself, and my father. So we were going to pay him double to go to the theater to go see this movie. And the manager just happened to come out at the time, and he, was, he saw that we were paying a lot of money. He says, what's going on? And so uh, my father said, sir, please, you know, my, my kids really want to see this movie. You know, we've been saving up to see this movie, and we would like to make sure that we, you know, I take my kids to see it. And, um, and he says, well, why are you paying so much money? He says, well, that's what your, your employee asked. And so um, he, uh, he looked at him, and he looked at his employee, and he says, sir, you come in as my guest. And um, it's one of those things that, that I felt, and even to this day, I get very emotional about it, because it's one of those things that was meant to happen. So we go in there, there was nobody in the theater. Nobody in the theater, there was just us. So me, being who I am, I went in there, center row, second, you know, wanted to get the best seat in the house. And um, there I was watching The Chinese Connection. That was my first Bruce Lee film. And it was amazing. I, I, I couldn't, the first showing, I could not even tell you what the movie was about. I was so fixated on Bruce Lee. It was amazing to see that man in action. And something affected me that night that, that I became so obsessed, just like probably millions of others around the world, became so obsessed. So every weekend, going to the swap meet, saving up money to buy the newest Bruce Lee poster, and you know, the pictures and anything Bruce Lee. And um, so that, combined with getting, getting beat up, really affected me, I guess in a really positive way. Because uh, unfortunately, in the beginning, it was very negative. It took me like three weeks before I had the courage to walk out of my house because I had like 11 stitches over my eye. 
And um, shortly thereafter, there was so much rage because I wanted to get back. I wanted to get back to those guys who did this to me. And so I started training martial arts. Initially, it was strictly just to beat people up. But the latent effects of that was that I started losing a lot of weight. I started getting in shape. And then once I started the martial arts, I went to, through different systems. Uh, my first system was Japanese karate. And, um, and the funny thing was that, that the instructor, after three months, he told my father, he was a very nice guy, very nice guy, but he says, you know what, sir, I'll help your son whatever I can, but I think you're wasting your time. And it's a true story, because he felt that, that I wasn't going to progress. You know, that I that basically give up the martial arts, take up tennis, take up anything else but martial arts. And so, um, and so you know, I, I quit that, and then I tried Taekwondo, and just, you know, again, I wasn't very serious about it. I wasn't, you know, at the time, ready for it. Until I remember specifically, again, I used to go to Tijuana a lot, because I have a lot of friends down there, some family. And, um, and there was this instructor over there who used to teach martial arts in, in those backyards. So we started training with him and, and finally I started getting into the groove. And shortly thereafter I discovered my, my, what became my seat was Eric Lee, Kung Fu Eric Lee. And that became my foundation, one half Kwendo, Kung Fu. Even though I trained, you know, eclectically with different, different systems and different people through the years, but my foundation is one half Kwendo, you know, out of the Costco system.